Hi there everyone. I am going to try some new paints that I got. These are from uh, Kaiser Glass. They are high fire glass powder enamels. I've kind of got them all over me because uh, they are a powder. They can be a little messy, but that also means that they don't dry up. You can mix them as you need them. They mature at 1350 Fahrenheit and will hold their color all the way to 1550. And it says on here that it can be mixed with any medium to create glass paint. Let me show you my samples. So what I did was took a piece of white glass, just basic white glass, and what I did was mix the different colors. Yellow, sort of an orange, a pink, a red. Um, this is sort of a sky blue, it says. Uh, this is um, cobalt blue. This is, let me see, just, oh, grass green. This is teal. This one's actually gray, and I really like how it's sort of a blue gray. And then this last one is a chocolate brown right here. And so I did a sample where I mixed up the different colors, and then in between them, I mixed them together. I wasn't thrilled with my mixes, but I didn't spend a lot of time on them. But then I full fused it. And they actually come out very glossy, whether they're uncovered or covered. I did notice that I didn't mix very well, so it's kind of powdery in some of them. So I need to mix really well. That was something I learned. So let's play around with this a little bit. You really want to mix until it's nice and smooth. I need some white. I don't have any white with this set, so I'm going to try this one. So let's see what happens. I'm going to put it on a paper towel so I don't make a complete mess. I don't know. may still make a mess. Who knows? Let me come back to that. Scoop some of that out if I need to. Let me add a little of this white. That white was just a bit too lumpy. See how it's kind of um, got a mix there? I'm going to try and mix that lightly. There we go. I don't want to see the hunks of blue or yellow. I want a little more mix. Oh, I'm liking it better with the paintbrush than the stick. So that yellow and blue, they work well together and they're making a making a nice green. All right. I have a lot of paint on it and I have a lot of paint on my hands. So I'm going to put a layer of clear under this and then fire it. Okay, it's out of the kiln and what I've noticed is sort of where the white meets the yellow is a little rough. So I'm going to sprinkle a little clear powder over it and refire it. Just want enough to make it glossy. All right, back in the kiln. Okay, so here it is out of the kiln after a full fuse. 
and this blue is just gorgeous. I absolutely love it. The yellow is a really rich and vibrant yellow, so I'm really happy with that. I didn't have any luck with that white again. That white from Colorline, I just have, it just comes out so grainy. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see the grainy? Anywhere there was white, it turned out kind of grainy, even if it was under some of the other colors. Um, but where there's no white, it's nice and smooth. So what I'm going to do is find the center here and place some tape down and I'll pull off the pieces I don't want and then spin it and do that again. I'm going to make like a tic-tac-toe grid pattern and then I'm going to mix some brown paint. I'm going to use um, the Kaiser Glass um, Chocolate Brown and I'm going to create a shadow Okay, now I want to create like a shadow. So I'm going to go around the edges of the tape on all of these and put it a little heavier in certain areas and a little lighter in other areas to give that impression, that feeling, that look that it's uh, woven. But I don't want my paint too thick. So I'm going to be wiping off most of the paint. I'll get some and then wipe it off. So I kind of have a little drier of a brush. So let's start in this corner. So what I want is a little thicker in the corner, a little thinner towards the edge, just sort of drifting off. And then these centers, I want them to be all the way around, but I want them kind of thicker in the opposing corners. Alright, those shadows look pretty good. Now we need to connect them. Oh, I need to clean my hands first. Alright, now I need to put this tape in certain areas. Like that. And you'll see the pattern in a second. So I want to get these edges pressed down. And now I'm going to do the opposite here and then the same thing down here. Okay, now I want to add paint along these edges. All right, I'm going to pull these tapes off, pieces of tape off, and then I'll use the water brush if I need to. I want to see what it looks like. I feel like these need to be connected more. So what I'm trying to do is get the center fatter than the shadow toward the edges so it makes it look like it's going over. These sort of arched shadows give it the look that the this piece is arched over this piece. So I'm going back and adding it. 
All right, I don't think it's perfect, but I am going to stop. It looks pretty good. So I'm going to put this in the kiln at a full fuse and show you what it looks like when it comes out. Okay, it's out of the kiln and my brown lines ended up fading quite a bit and remember I was uh, keeping it kind of thin and then I was using water to kind of move it around so I didn't do myself any favors. Um, so what I'm going to do is take the brown and it had dried up so it looks similar to this you know it was dry and I mixed it up again using some of the medium that comes with the paints and I just put a little bit in there and just kept swishing and smooshing and swirling until I got a nice creamy amount of uh, paint in there Okay, so I'm going to use a smaller brush and try and uh, darken these lines, and I'll fire it again. Okay, so I was trying to put it on kind of thick. I'll let this dry and then take a look at it before I put it back in the kiln. That'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so this one's done. I slumped it into a little bit of a dish mold. I think it turned out really pretty and it's very unique. It's just white and clear glass and a little bit of paint. So very happy with how that turned out. And I know this can be used for screen printing, but let's see if we can use it for stenciling. Well, that's not bad. It's not exactly what I was hoping for, but it's not bad. A little got under here. So I'm going to clean this off and dry this, and then add another color. Okay, I dried this with the blow dryer, and now I'm just going to set this on there, just in a different area, and try it again with the orange paint. Okay, let's let that dry, and I'll clean my stencil. I'm going to use the yellow. This will be my final color. Get a little yellow in there. I want to dab some of it off. Well, there's a chance this won't show because I don't have a lot of paint on there. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and fuse that, full fuse, and we'll see what it looks like. Uh, I'll put a second layer under it so it's two layers thick, piece of clear. And I'll show you what that looks like. And this one, I'm actually pretty happy with it. I don't think I would add another thing to it, um, except I could add a decal or paint something else over it. But as far as a background, I think it's a pretty awesome background. But that was kind of fun to try. I have a piece of white glass here. It's uh, about six inches wide, a little less than six inches tall, and I have a piece of clear glass under it. That'll be fired together, so I have the two layers. And the first thing I want to do is take this white diamonds and just kind of smear it all over. Get a nice coating on the glass. It doesn't have to be uh, consistent or completely covered. Put a few dabs on there and then I'm taking a stiff brush and just pouncing. I'm 
I'm going to do the same with the yellow. Okay, I'll do this with the orange. And finally the blue. I feel like the blue is really fading into the white, so I'm going to add a little more. Now I'm going to take my stiff brush, but a wider one, and pull some of this paint down. Now I'm going to take that outline white and add some white to this. And this is already mixed in the container. I'm going to let this dry a little bit and then try and add a little more detail on the trees. Okay, it's dry now. I actually used a blow dryer to speed up the process. And now I'm going to spin this around so I can add some tree branches to it. I've got a finer tipped paintbrush. All right, that's ready to go in the kiln at a full fuse. And we will see what we end up with. Okay, these are out of the kiln, and I learned a little bit from this one. I think my uh, red was a little too uh, thinned out, so I'm going to add a little more to that. Um, I don't think I'm going to add more to these. I really like the way these turned out. I just want to add a little more of this. Uh, but I do want to add some more streaks. So what I'm finding is when I'm thinning it, there's not enough paint there to give me really good coverage. So I have to stop thinning it out, and especially with water. It's water cleanup, but that doesn't mean I should add water to it. So I want to keep it really thick, so I'm going to keep using the medium. So for the red, I've put a little more medium in there and mixed it up. And I'm just going to put a little, some little dots on here. Now when I make them, when I dab it too much, I make it too thin, that's where I start getting into problems. So I want to keep it more on the thick side. I think that's going to be really good. Now I'll add some down here. And remember, it's going to uh, disappear a little bit because I'm thinning it out so much. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing with the yellow, the pumpkin, and the blue. Okay, this one's all done, and I'm real happy with how this turned out also. I, I love the brightness of the colors. I like how I've got the shadow down here from it. Um, just really pretty. Um, even though it's a sample piece, I think I could make something with it. Uh, just really happy with the colors. I'm going to do a little touch-up on this one. I've got this red paint left over, so I'm going to add some red in there. So I hope you enjoyed watching me try out my new set of paints, and I hope it inspires you to uh, take out your paints and give it a shot.
So thanks for watching and be cool honey bunnies. Bye.